going to make a chicken rogan josh. It's been requested by quite a few of my viewers. So I'll show you how to cook that and hopefully you can follow me step by step. So I've got um, a small chicken over here. So that's the breast of the chicken and the thigh. I've just scored it. So I just ripped it open so the spices and the flavours go in. I'm just going to, I've just washed it, dried it. And I'm going to put a little bit of marinade. So it's about a teaspoon of garlic ginger. Marinated all up, so it's got through all the ginger garlic paste. Um, this is optional, but I just put a bit of flour because I want to fry it and I don't want it to stick. So, just when you add a bit of flour, it doesn't, st well, it shouldn't stick as much to the pan. I don't like using non stick pans, either cast iron or my aluminium pans. So, there you go. That's the chicken marinade. Leave that for ideally about 10 20 minutes. But um, I'm going to leave it about 10 minutes. So, heat up the pan. It's about a um, quarter of a cup of vegetable ghee. Uh, that goes in. So, I've used uh, one of these chef spoons. So, I measured out about three of these spoons. So I, it's about a quarter of a cup, I just sort of just checked it. Right. I'm going to put the garam masala, the whole spices, one, two, three, for about uh, five cardamoms. I've just cracked it open so it releases the pods, it brings out the flavour. So that's the cardamom, two of the cassia bark, cinnamon, uh, a couple of bay leaf. I've used a few peppercorn, I've used a large pinch, a uh, pinch of uh, cumin. There's a shahi cumin and a pinch of fenugreek. So I'll heat that up and then I'll add the rest of the ingredients. Smoking away so it's really heated. So I used about this size small onion, one and a half onion. Uh, I've used half a green pepper and half a red pepper. It's been cooking for another five minutes. So it's been ten minutes cooking. Right, I'm adding that's uh, about a teaspoon of chili powder. That's uh, one teaspoon of turmeric. Half a teaspoon of garam masala, one and a half teaspoon of coriander, half a teaspoon of uh, the cumin, and one teaspoon of just a normal curry powder. So, that goes in. Uh, I'm going to add the tomato puree, so I'm adding one two. Rogan Josh, so he needs that tomato flavour. This curry, we cook it, obviously we wouldn't need to add any of this uh, gravy or anything. Because that's, we're using the onions, we're using the peppers, and we're getting everything to spice up and then hopefully that will create a uh, nice little gravy and we're always using we're always using a bit of water and that would thicken it up it's a sort of thick sauce so that's how it would be whereas if I was cooking for the customer I would have had to make a few uh, shortcuts and a few adjustments and I would have had to use the gravy so I'm 
got a couple of orders on go, so we've got a bit of water. You can always put in a bit of water. Let that cook on the slow gas. Sorry, I've added a couple of chilies as well. All I did to the chilies was I just I just put I just cut it like that so it releases the flavour and it stays hot so it looks pretty. Um, we're also gonna add this. a full wedge of tomato. It's a tomato flavour. So that's gonna be cooked down and it should be taken up the sauce as well. I'm going to let this cook for the first five minutes and move to the next uh, ingredient. It's been a further five minutes, so just add in a bit of water, it's only a drizzle of water. As you can see, the oil is releasing, so the spice is cooking. It just needs to cook a little bit more. The longer you cook this, the more flavoursome it will be. Using one of these big spoons, so that's about a couple of dessert spoons. Uh, vegetable feet because it's got a higher burn content or whatever. So you can cook it without it burning. So that's a marinated chicken. I would, I'm tempted to put it in the tandoor, as you can see. Here, and the heat in here is about 300 degrees, so it gets cooked very fast. So that's chicken tikka just gone into there. So it would have been much easier if I cooked it there, but because you're going to cook it at home, I want to make it sort of friendly you need to cook at home. So, Curry's cooking away deeply. I'm going to cook this and then when it's sort of been a 3-4 minutes on one side then I'll turn it on to the other side and then I'll record it in the The chicken is cooking, cooking away for about 5 minutes. So I'll just turn this Got a lovely, it's a lovely charred bit there, so just need to cook it for a further five minutes and then I'll go to the next process. Okay. Chicken here is cooking away lovely. So that was about three, four minutes I've cooked on one side. I'm gonna do the same on that side. The sauce is cooking away lovely. It's almost ready, you can eat from that. But because I'm waiting for the chicken, I want the sauce to get cooked out. So that's about half a cup, half a cup there. <coughs> you can always use water, it doesn't really matter. But after you use the water, make sure you reduce it down and the flavours will come out. Your onions will sort of it will get soft and it will have that gravy consistency. So let that cook for a further five minutes on very small gas. While my chicken is getting cooked. It's literally been a couple of minutes. Sauce is on the go. So it's not, this is still half raw, but that's how I wanted it. And that goes in there. And the breast, as you can see, the neck still there, thing. it just looks really gorgeous. Um, obviously, the customers just want the breast pieces cut up and diced up but with the bones with everything it builds a lovely flavour and lovely taste and that's how we normally have it so that goes in I'm gonna cook the breast side down first that's where all the meat is so same with that so now this needs to get cooked on sort of high heat so it'll release all the water that is left in the chicken. Once that's all out, then we cook the sauce. And then we 
go to the next step. So I'm going to give this a further five minutes and then we'll go on to the next step. Chicken's been cooking for about five minutes. I'll just show you how it's served. Uh, as you can see, the sauce is bubbling away and the steam is coming out. So. has risen there, all the chickens all smoked and steamed away. Beautiful. Put <laughs> this is all the goodness and the flavours. Now what I tend to do with the rest of it is the cherry tomatoes, a bit of coriander, about two, three teaspoons of tomato puree, just cook this up. slightly more than medium because uh, I've added one teaspoon of chili powder. If I wanted it to be medium it would have been half a teaspoon. So just remember that when you're cooking it. And if you wanted to cook at Madras it would be two teaspoons. If you wanted to cook at Vindaloo, three teaspoons or four depending on how hard you like it. Uh, follow these exact steps. Tomatoes. This is the dish for you. So Rogan Josh on the bone. You can't go wrong with this one. So Rogan Josh ready, and I'll get some of my guys to taste it and give you uh, some comments on how it actually tastes. Uh, I forgot to mention if you've enjoyed uh, the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, make some comments if you'd like me to cook anything or if you want any information just write a little message on my YouTube channel, The Teeps Inspired. Um, we just met, knocked ourselves up some, uh, some fried chicken with some triple, triple cooked chips and a spicy sauce. We're just going to have this today so if there's anything that you want me to cook just let me know. Thank you very much.